Hello friends. So this is a, a preview, okay, about a new project I'm going to do. I think with live coding, I think uh, it's going to for a project like this. Uh, it's, it's, it costs it going to cost a lot of time. I have to say so. It cannot be done in one video. If we do it in one video, it's going to be a very long video. Uh, so here I'm trying to uh, make a CRUD app like this. So if you check the database here, I have a table called customer and uh, we have uh, some data like the ID, name, description, email. So we can have multiple columns for this table. So basically this is just a dummy data. You can have a customer, you can have company, you can have contact. So all of this can be customized in the code. Of course, this is just a demonstration. And as you can see here, I have ID 98 so because uh, 98 is the last one. And I, can, I have paginations here, as you can see. I can go to page two. So right now it's 83. And if I go to page three, so as you can see, this is loading. So maybe, uh, and I can go next page, next page, and then maybe last page. So one, two, three, like this. Let's go back to page one. And uh, I can create a new record it's like this. So I have a name, description, email, and phone. I can add a company or a customer for YouTube. YouTube is a, is a what? I don't know. So YouTube at gmail.com and a form one two three three two one one two three. So I can submit. So the uh, page is loading. So as you can see, the table is refreshed, and I have a new record ninety nine added. And yes, I can delete it. And uh, we can add a confirm pop-up like that. If, are you sure to delete this item? So things like that, we can do that, of course. Uh, this is a preview, so I didn't add it. And this edit button right now is not working, I have to say. So uh, just delete it, so there is no change here. So maybe let me show you how to do this kind of stuff very, maybe a little change and uh, I'm going to show you maybe I'd like to add a new column here I have a phone email so here I have a phone email let's say we add the address city and states how can we do that hmm. uh, in the project uh, I think I have a index file so I have a header here for the customer so uh, I only copy this so I change it to address address I think this we're going to do the change city city and uh, state state all right so I did the change so let me reload the page to see if this is working or not uh, I have city, I have state, I have address. So just easy, like that. But, but build this kind of structures is not easy, I have to say. So this is, uh, I think this is a very interesting project because this this kind of stuff we're going to, and maybe another demo here. Maybe I'd like to add a, a new field here maybe for the city in the form, right? We also can do it very easily. So here I have a customer form.html file here. So 
only thing I need to do, I need to make a copy of the, so this is for the form. So let's make a copy of this div and change this form to uh, maybe city. So I change this form to city. So the label for the city is changed. And for this tab, for this tally, change it to text. Okay, so I did this change and let me reload the page so the change can take effect. Load the data and new customer. See, I have the city here and I add my name here, not my name. So maybe I add a new company called uh, Facebook, who knows? Facebook is not a book. Facebook. So add a form one two three three two one one two three city send them and a submit and this loading and this done. So I have Facebook, I have email, I have the city added. And if you check the data source, you have the data added here as a new record. So this is almost the crowd app. So maybe we can do this as four videos, but it could be a lot. We can do this uh, read part for one video, and I create part for a video, and then we update, delete for another video, things like that. Uh, not sure if you are looking for things like this, but this is very, this is very important, and this is this is the core part for for building the web application like this. And if you're trying to build a form uh, or something like that, maybe even more complicated stuff with app web application. So here is what we are trying to do, a project like this. So basically, we are using the core library here, we're using Vue, okay? And uh, we use, all of them are in are, are built with Google Apps Script, Vue.js, and uh, for this project, I choose Bootstrap for the style. So all of this are with Bootstrap, okay? So this is just a preview for this new project, and uh, I'm trying to release the new videos about this project. And that's it for this preview. Thank you. Bye-bye.